Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking this morning at a book from Oxford University Press in the Blackstone Guides series to legislation. And it's this particular book here. It's Blackstone's Guide to the Criminal Procedure Rules in a second edition by Duncan Atkinson and Tim Maloney, Queen's Counsel. You can see what the book is like. There's some blurb at the back. The book is very much in keeping with what we would expect from um, Blackstone and OUP. You've got footnotes at the bottom. You've got numbering, paragraph numbering at the sides for the various uh, pieces of information. Can I just say that halfway through the book, it's about 450 pages long, there are appeals and costs. Costs in particular is a very useful chapter just before you get on to the second half of the book, which is actually the appendix, which is the criminal procedure rules themselves, and you've got a useful uh, index at the back, which is of help, plus of course the usual stuff at the front, like cases and so on. There's a Flickr review which will be on the web itself, and we've given it the title Reviewing the Criminal Procedure Landscape, the latest edition of the Criminal Procedure Rules, and this is what we're saying. Duncan Atkinson and Tim Maloney have produced a much needed new edition of the criminal procedure rules, which, as practitioners realise, have effectively created a new landscape in the criminal courts in England and Wales. Governing, as they do, all aspects of criminal procedure in all criminal courts, these rules were designed to bring about a culture change. They affect not only just practitioners, but all those involved in the criminal justice process, even though many practitioners initially thought that they would have little impact. In fact, they've had they become an essential litigation framework with the new provisions they contain aimed at increasing inf efficiency and improving case management. I think that's what they do. Obviously the commentaries in here are extremely helpful for us as practitioners. Part of the estimable Blackstone's Guide series, this new second edition contains the full updated Criminal Procedure Rules 2010 and the Consolidated Criminal Practice Direction. The result is a comprehensive and up-to-date collection of relevant procedural materials. Amendments to the rules made since they were introduced mean that we are now known as a cradle-to-grave pathway that practitioners must follow. Um, an obvious benefit of the new rules is that they codify and consolidate rules previously contained in hundreds of different documents, and it's very well overdue, in fact. How useful, then, is this indispensable guide um, to us? It provides a full, clear analysis of the rules, placing them in context and tracking their development since their introduction in 2005. Following the structure of the rules, they include checklists on time limits and key tasks to be formed, always very helpful for the litigation timetable. Clearly the publishers have seen that we as practitioners need publications which are produced as soon as possible uh, after legislative enactments, accompanied by serious and ex expert uh, analysis from leading lawyers, and that's what we get with these guides. Um, Atkinson and Maloney, we think, have delivered all this and more in this new volume. So it contains, as I say, a copy of the, um, the rules itself, and plus key in-depth information, and it's an invaluable tool if you need to act quickly, and we think it's the perfect companion to practitioners um, magistrates and judges alike when they're looking at these cases and we will continue to obviously review the criminal procedure landscape at a challenging time and this book is actually fits in very nicely with what we need to do in court. So thank you to all concerned. Bye-bye.